Papa, 96. Sweet Papa. We like to invite Lou Donaldson up to the stage. If you'd like to give us a few words. This is a record that he picked to play while he was walking up on stage.
I said, next year, if you don't get one, I'm coming out of retirement. <laughs>
Jackie McLean, Tommy Tarantino, John Patton and all of them, all they wanted was that money where they could get to the bank and get that check cash and find the douche man. Because the douche man got all that money. But now let me tell you an interesting thing happened to me a month ago. I'm there watching my football game and the phone rings. Normally, when I'm watching Mahomes and the Chiefs, I don't get up to answer the phone. <laughs> but for some reason I did. And I got it up. And I had this voice on the other. This is Jerry. Jerry, yeah, Jerry Wellen. I'll be down there night in Boca Raton. <laughs> Boca Raton is not but about 20 miles from where I live. And I said, what's the name of the club? So when the name of the club, I said, I'll be there. So he, then I cut off my football game and got in and called my daughter, take me up there. My daughter and my son-in-law. And they took me up there and he was surprised to see me because he was playing with a blues band. Because normally when I read through the paper and I see a jazz band, I go on to the next page. <laughs> <laughs> because the way they playing today, <laughs> <laughs> Well, let me tell you this. You don't know it because most of you people are young people. When I came up, they had a, a fella at the door. They called a bouncer. <laughs> if you bring some Konami Washington and some of that stuff in there, they throw him right out the door. <laughs> On that floor when they threw out the door. Train, they threw out the door. And the latter part of his, his, kid, his, his life, but long the train was from North Carolina, where I'm from. He's from Hamlet, North Carolina, about 40 miles from where I live. And I wrote a book way many years ago, 1987. 1987, nobody will publish it. Because I made one bad mistake. Tell the truth. I told the truth. <laughs> you got it. In the last chapter, I, I really ate up train by running all the black people away from jazz. Because I go down to, to Miami, not one jazz club, not one. If it's one, I'll give you $100 right now out of my pocket. <laughs> and I don't know that when they have a jazz concert, they have a big print in the paper, Jazz Festival, The Temptations. <laughs> <laughs> Cat blacks. Not one jazz band on that. So I called down there and I said, Well, when when you gonna have some jazz on the concert? Just like I went into a club down in Florida. They had a big sign out there, Jazz tonight. And normally you know, I wouldn't even stop, but I said, I'm gonna stop. So I went in and the guy was in there playing like Kitty G. <laughs> <laughs> but after he finished the guy said, well, how do you like it? I said, oh, he's all right. Now, when is the jazz group coming? <laughs> <laughs> Keep him coming. Keep him coming, Lou. Come on, man. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for coming out. Welcome to my 86th birthday. <laughs> 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 now I'm going to do some suicide. I saw Kenny Washington. Where did he go? I'm here. All right. He got some records for me to sign. Yep. I'm going to charge him a dollar piece. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to sign him for free. I want to get that champion, Akiko, Fukushima, and who else helped with this project? That's the party planning committee. That champion has got a nice piano trio. She's a young woman with some, with some good ideas. Beautiful, too. You're not married yet, are you? Yeah. And all of a sudden, I get 
get a letter about a week later. They wanted his records. Yeah. A great record. Yeah. Very good. And of course, Akiko worked with me for many years. Yeah. Of she worked for me 37 years. Yeah. <laughs> in Harlem, we were working in Harlem with Lionel Smith Trio. Yeah. Yeah. And what had happened, the drummer had come down to Lionel Smith and uh, he put his drums in the trunk and he went to get a hamburger or something. So when I saw him coming back to the club, I said, where you been? He said, I went to get a hamburger. I said, where's your drum? He said, he in the trunk. I said, where is it, Paul? <laughs> 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 St. Nicholas Avenue and 145th Street. I said, they were there. <laughs> and he went there and on the lot. The, 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 you know what was in there? Nothing. <laughs> Somebody got his drum. All right, ladies and gentlemen, have fun. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We love you, Lee Donaldson. We love you, man. Sweet Papa. Sweet Papa. No comment. No comment. No comment. Very important. You know what's tomorrow. So let's get out there and kick Trump's rum.